Hey Defenders, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion Solutions. I started Security Onion in 2008 to provide a free and open source platform for threat hunting, enterprise security monitoring, and log management to help you peel back the layers of your enterprise and make your adversaries cry. In the last video, we took a look at SO import PCAP and saw how you can use it to very quickly and easily read in PCAP files into Security Onion. In this video, we're going to take that to the next level and see how we might build a very quick and easy minimal virtual machine for not just reading PCAP files, but actually sniffing live traffic. Just like in the previous video, any time that we're going to install Security Onion, we recommend that you start out at our website, securityonion.net, and click the download link to make sure that you have the latest version of Security Onion. So in this case, I've already downloaded the latest version of our Security Onion ISO image, but if not, you could download it using this link and you could verify that ISO image using the information shown here. Once we've downloaded and verified the latest version of our ISO image, we can then proceed to the installation guide. In the previous video, you remember we did this PCAP forensics use case. For this video, we're gonna look at this minimal evaluation use case. So the idea here is that we want to build a minimal virtual machine with a minimal amount of RAM and run SO setup minimal to configure that virtual machine to actually have a, a sniffing interface and sniff traffic from the wire. So in order to do this, we kind of get a sense of, of an overview here, uh, but we click into this quick evaluation guide to really get the detailed series of steps. So as always, we want to review the hardware requirements. And as a reminder, if we're enabling the Elastic Stack, our minimum requirements are typically four CPU cores and eight gigabytes of RAM. Because we're running SO setup minimal, we can actually lower that just a little bit. We can actually go down to four gigabytes of RAM just for this very small uh, minimal virtual machine. Because this is not a production deployment, we can get away with only four gigabytes of RAM. But the rest of this is good information, especially if you're going to be doing any more of a, a production kind of a deployment. We do again recommend that you review the release notes page. Uh, we've already downloaded and verified our ISO image. So we're now ready to boot that ISO image and start installing it. So the first thing we need to do is create a new virtual machine. And I'm using VMware Workstation. You could use VMware Fusion or VirtualBox or some other virtualization solution. And your overall steps should be pretty similar. We're gonna select typical and click next. We're going to specify our ISO image. And in this case, I'm gonna to go to our latest ISO image that we've downloaded and click next. This is based on Ubuntu 64-bit, so we'll click next and we'll call this Security Onion and click next. We do wanna increase our virtual hard drive size to at least 50 gigabytes and click next. And then we'll customize our hardware. This is where we're going to increase our RAM from the default of two gigabytes. We'll go ahead and go up to four gigabytes. For our number of processors, we do wanna have four processors. And because we want to have a dedicated network interface for sniffing, that means that we need to add a second network adapter. So we're gonna click add. We're gonna to go to Network Adapter and click Finish. Then for Network Adapter 2, we want to set this to a custom network and I'll choose VMNet 10. So now we've got a network adapter set to NAT so we can get out to our network and the, the internet. We've got a second network adapter set to VMNet 10. We can now click Close and click Finish. Now that we've got that virtual machine created, we can power on the virtual machine, and that should start booting our ISO image. So at this boot menu, we can simply press enter to choose that default option. 
And while this ISO image is booting, we'll go back to our instruction guide here. So we're going to choose the default boot menu option, which we did. Once the live desktop appears, we're going to double click the install icon. And we're going to follow the prompts in that installer. For the most part, we're going to simply accept the defaults. If we're prompted for encrypting the home folder or encrypting a partition, we will not enable those uh, and we will not enable automatic updates. Once that installer completes, we'll then reboot into our new installation and log in using the credentials that we specified during the installer. Once we've done that, we can then run setup. Now you can run setup from the desktop icon, or in this case, for this video, we're actually gonna run SO setup minimal. And this is what's going to tell setup that we wanna do an absolute bare minimum configuration because we're running in kind of a, this low RAM VM. We wanna make sure that we're configuring those services to minimize our usage of memory and other resources. So we're going to choose that SO setup minimal and we're going to run through setup using that, configuring our network interfaces, rebooting, and then logging back in, running SO setup minimal again, and going all the way through uh, until that setup wizard completes. And then we'll be ready to create some traffic on that sniffing interface. So now let's go back to our virtual machine. And again, as a reminder, we are going to double click this install icon. And once that installer appears, we're gonna start clicking through this, choosing mainly the default options. So we click continue. And we do not need to select either of these. We click continue. We do wanna choose this LVM option. We click install now. And we click continue. For this time zone, we'll simply accept the default setting because we're going to reset that to UTC anyway, so we click continue. For the keyboard layout window, we can simply slide that over until we see the continue button and click that. Now I'm going to put in my name and a host name, create a password and confirm that password and click continue. Now we've given the installer all the information that it needs to install Security Onion to that virtual machine. So we'll simply give it a few minutes and let it complete its installation. Okay, now that our installer is complete, we can click Restart Now. That's gonna shut down this live desktop environment and get us ready to reboot into our newly installed operating system. Once we reach this point, we can press Enter and reboot the VM. While that's booting, let's quickly review our installation guide. We went through the installer. We are now rebooting. We're gonna log in using the credentials that we specified. And then instead of double clicking the setup icon, in this video, we're gonna use SO setup minimal. So we're gonna run through SO setup minimal to configure our network interfaces. We're then gonna reboot, run through SO setup minimal again. And then once that completes, then we'll be ready to start sniffing some traffic from that sniffing interface. All right, so we're gonna log in using the credentials that we created. So before we go and run setup, let's go ahead and change our desktop resolution. So to do that, I'm gonna click in the upper right corner, then go down to the settings icon, then go to displays, select my display. I'm gonna change my resolution to 1360 by 768 and apply that. We'll keep that 
and we can close the displays window. Now at this point, we're ready to run SO Setup Minimal. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up a terminal. We'll maximize that and we'll run sudo so setup dash minimal. We'll put in our password. And now we've got this text-based version of setup. Uh, so you could, you could run this through the graphical user interface as we're doing here, or you could run this over SSH. It will work either way. So we'll say, yes, we want to proceed. We want to continue. And we do want to configure our network interfaces. So we say, yes. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep this host name of Security Onion, but if we were going to be building a distributed deployment, of course you'd want to make that host name a little bit more unique. But we'll keep that for this use case. So for our management interface, we're going to go with our first network interface, which in this case is ENS33. So I'll press the space bar to select that ENS33 and then press enter to accept that. And just to keep this quick and simple, we will choose DHCP for that management interface. So I use the down arrow to go down to DHCP. I use the space bar to select it and enter to accept it. And then do we want to configure sniffing interfaces or monitor interfaces? Yes, we do. Notice that ENS33, which was our management interface, is excluded from this list. And so all that's left is ENS34, and that's already selected for us. So I simply press Enter. So now we can confirm all of our options. ENS33 is our management interface, and that's configured using DHCP. ENS34 is our sniffing interface. And so we'll press Enter to select the Yes option. And would you like to reboot now? Yes, we do. So we press Enter, and that's going to reboot the virtual machine. Once it comes back up, we can log back in, run SO Setup Minimal again. And at that point in time, we can skip network configuration since we've already done it and proceed to our standard service configuration. So we'll log in. And the desktop reminds us that we need to run setup again. So we're going to right click, open terminal, and we'll run so setup dash minimal. Put in our password. Would you like to proceed? Yes, we do. Would you like to continue? Yes. Would you like to skip network configuration? Yes, we've already done that. Would you like to continue? Now at this point, we're prompted for evaluation or production mode. This is just going to be a quick evaluation, so we'll choose that. It's asking for which network interface should be monitored. We already specified that in the first run of SO Setup Minimal, so ENS34 is already selected for us. We simply press Enter to accept that. Now we need to create our user account for logging into applications like Kibana. And so we're going to put in our username and create a password and confirm that password. So now Setup has all the information it needs. We confirm all those options and we say yes, continue. We'll give that a few minutes and then we'll take a look and see what we need to do to then create some traffic against this sniffing interface. Okay, setup is now complete. So we'll simply press OK a few times. And then because this is SO Setup Minimal, it has to make a few more minor modifications to the system. We'll wait for that to complete. And SO Setup Minimal is now complete, so we press Enter. And we're done. So now if we wanted to take a look at these services that are running, we could run sudo so-status. Now we can see all of our services are running, uh, although we do notice that logstash is still initializing. So that'll take just a few more seconds. 
And once that's done, then we're ready to start sniffing live traffic and ingesting those logs into the Elastic Stack. So we'll go ahead and uh, generate some traffic here. We've got a command built into Security Onion called so-test. So if I run sudo so-test, that's going to reconfigure Zeek and restart it. And then it's going to go through all of the PCAP samples that we have in the opt samples directory. And it's going to use TCP replay to replay those PCAPs against our sniffing interface, which in this case is ENS34. And that's where we have Zeke sniffing the network traffic. That's where we have Snort or Suricata sniffing the network traffic. And that's where we're recording our full packet capture from. So at this point in time, we are replaying packet capture files, PCAP files, to that network interface. And we should then start generating logs and alerts. And those logs and alerts should then be consumed uh, into the Elastic Stack. So let's fire up another window here. And let's just go out to slash NSM slash Zeek slash logs slash current and you'll see that we do have logs being generated there so that means that Zeek is sniffing our network interface and it's generating these logs so now assuming that log stash is fully initialized we should be able to log into Kibana put in our username and password And now we can maximize this browser window. So as you can see, we do have over 15,000 logs already, consisting primarily of Zeek logs, but we do also have IDS alerts coming from Snort. So that means that our NIDS dashboard should have some IDS alerts there. And our Zeek dashboards should have some logs there. So now you're ready to go off on a hunting expedition. So in this video, we have seen how we can run SO setup minimal to build a minimal virtual machine using only four CPU cores and four gigabytes of RAM and be able to then sniff traffic from an, an actual dedicated sniffing interface and use SO test to replay some PCAPs against that sniffing interface. At this point, we'll head on over to securityonionsolutions.com. And as a reminder, we do provide training classes, we do provide professional services, and we do sell hardware appliances preloaded with Security Onion. So if you're interested in those things, please feel free to reach out to us using the contact information at securityonionsolutions.com. Again, we want to say thank you for tuning in to these videos. If you have suggestions for future videos, please leave those suggestions in the comments of this YouTube video. If you have any questions or problems uh, relating to Security Onion, you can reach out to our mailing list or our Reddit, uh, and you can post those questions there. And if we can be of assistance, please reach out to us and let us know. So again, thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again next time.